Kenny Babyface Edmonds. He has also written and produced over 26 number one R&B hits throughout his career and has won 12 Grammy Awards. He is ranked number 20 on NME's 50th of the top greatest producers ever list. He was born on April 10, 1959, 64 years old. He was born in Indianapolis, Indiana. He's married to Nicole Portman Miller uh, from 2014 to 2023. Tracy Edmonds, 1992 to 2005. Children include Brandon Edmonds, Dylan Michael Edmonds, siblings is Kevon Edmonds, and Melvin Edmonds. Awards is Gra Grammy Awards for Best R&B Album, including many others. Now, Kenneth uh, Babyface Edmonds, star for the Hollywood Walk of Fame, is located for the category recorded at 6270 Hollywood Boulevard, which is between Hollywood and Vine and Hollywood and Argo, near the W Hotel, across from the Pantages. Now, he's a 10-time Grammy Award winner. He has 11 solo albums of his own. Edmonds impeccably crafted explorations of love, romance, and relationship and has an indelible imprint on the evolution of contemporary pop music throughout the world. More than 125 top R&B and pop hits, 40 number one R&B hits, and 51 top 10 pop hits, including 16 number ones, which have produced Kenny Babyface Edmonds. His music can be heard. Kenny Babyface Edmonds. Mary J. Blythe, Michael Jackson, TLC, Tony Braxton, Celine Dion, John Mellencamp, Anthony Hamilton, Brandy, Aretha Franklin, Fallout Boy, Pink, Charlie Wilson, and Krista Michelle. And this is a recipient of numerous awards, including Soul Train Music Awards, BMI Awards, NAACP Image Awards, and the American Music Awards. He's also a recipient of the third BET Walk of Fame Award, previous honors for Michael Jackson and Whitney Houston, and was named BET Entertainment of the Year's first annual BET Awards ceremony. Now, Edmonds' most recent productions with other artists include Barbara Streisand, Celine Dion, Carolee Hilson, Lindsay Colby, Colin, Jennifer Hudson, and Aurelia, Ariana Grande. And next up in his forthcoming duets album with Tony Braxton titled Love, Marriage, and Divorce, November 25th on Motown Records. Um, now the album's lead single, Hurt You, is garnering critical raves and is already the top 10. On the Billboard charts, the pair's premiere performance of Hurt You was recently seen on October 8th on the Tonight Show. Seen on the Tonight Show. Now, <clears throat> Edmund's terrible work included impressive and professional accomplishments. His caring and generosity has earned him several accolades, including the Essence Award, the Excellence the City Hope Award, and the Variety Magazine Top of the Town Honorable Award. He was also national spokesman of Broader Babies and personally helped more than $500,000 for transitional homes. The Little Blue House, located in Washington, D.C., he has also personally donated more than $100,000 to the VH1 State of the Music Program, and he continues to contribute to a host of other worthwhile organizations, including the United Negro College Fund, in 2008, Edmonds combined the musical power proudness with his charitable efforts, co-writing, producing the song Just Stand Up with longtime partner Antonio L.A. Reed, which served as a background, backbone of a multi-purpose breast cancer awareness special. The song featured such current heavyweights as Beyonce, Rihanna, Mariah Carey, Mary J. Blige, Leona Lewis, Sierra, Carrie Underwood, Cheryl Crow, and Miley Cyrus, to name a few. Edmonds also. Edmonds and Reed honored with the Nobel Awards for their contributions to Stand Up to Cancer recently. 
Kenny has been very active in supporting Curlis, so Hope, Benefiting Children's Diabetes Foundation, and the Barbara Davis Center <coughs> for Childhood Diabetes. Here you go. 